At Mass General, I'm quite proud that I'm affiliated with both the Department of Neurology and the Department of Psychiatry. Functional Neurological Disorder, which I'll abbreviate as F and D, is now recognized as the second most common reason to see an outpatient neurologist. One of the issues that's become increasingly apparent uh, based on epidemiology research is that functional neurological disorder is medicine's silent epidemic. It's also been called psychiatry's blind spot. And this speaks to the fact that it's highly prevalent and yet it's been neglected by both neurology and psychiatry in part because it falls at the borderland of both disciplines. So at Massachusetts General Hospital, I direct a neuroimaging focused research program. And the main aims of our research program are to study biomarkers of symptom severity, disease risk, and prognosis. It's certainly been a trying time with COVID-19. I imagine this is true for um, clinicians and researchers across the board. I will say that there's been some positives with COVID-19. On the clinical side, we've adapted our clinical program um, to be largely um, virtual. We can deliver our consultations through telemedicine and our treatment pathways in physical therapy, occupational therapy, and psychotherapy have also adopted uh, virtual technology. On the research side, we've actually streamlined our uh, data collection protocols so that patients can uh, consent virtually as well as participate in our full battery of psychometric measures while in the comfort of their own home. For our brain imaging, obviously patients are still coming in. Um, we're taking precautions to ensure that all the appropriate safety measures around COVID-19 are followed very carefully. But we're able to minimize contact with patients to preserve their safety and ours by really uh, focusing on uh, the virtual collection of data apart from brain scans itself. So in summary, I think as it pertains to the challenges that we face with COVID-19, there are many challenges that remain, but there are some bright spots. And I think the bright spots have been catalyzed by some of the technology that we're able to leverage here at the Massachusetts General Hospital. I think that largely pertains to um, the ability to perform telemedicine consultations, not just at the physician level, but across all aspects of clinicians. And we've taken this telemedicine opportunity to also collect data remotely. This has streamlined our ability to do research. It's also increased our catchment area so that patients who live quite far away are also able to participate in our research program. And we hope to expand this as we move forward.